Now let's get started with our photo card on Pixlr today. Before we begin, you will need to scroll down, read the individual activity instructions. Ms. Claire has uploaded the instructions here. Please don't click the green words. Click the little download icon to download the instructions. Okay, once done, you should see the instructions downloaded to your computer. Open, read and follow. If not, what you can do is you just follow my video here. Okay, now once you're done, second step, very important. I need you to download your photo that I've chosen for you this week. Okay, so to do this, same thing, uh, do not click the name. Just click the download icon beside your name. Okay, so once you download it, for example, you Miss Claire download mine, I should see that this PXZ file has been downloaded to the computer. Okay, you cannot open this on, except only on Pixlr. Alright, okay, now once done, we're going to get started to do our photo cut on Pixlr. So click the link here, or you can type pixlr.com slash x on a new tab. Okay, this is how Pixlr look like. We are going to open an image. We're going to open the PXZ file that you downloaded from your computer. Okay, so click open file, open image. Okay, you go to your computer downloads. You should be able to find the PXZ file of your name that you downloaded. Click on it, open. Okay, show good waiting and your photo should look. Now, this is what Miss Claire chose for you this week. If you don't like your photo, it's okay. Just use it to practice. All right? If not, you can just borrow Miss Claire's example. Okay, you can download my file and you can try it out. All right, now let's get started. Let me introduce to you how Pixlr Editor looks like. Okay, in the middle, you will see your photo. This is your editing space. On the right side, you will see some layers. So when you add things to your picture, like you add an effect, you will see that it will come out as a layer. Okay, on the bottom, you have undo. Okay, this is if you make mistake, you can click undo to make sure you remove that mistake. Okay, close is to close your entire project. Save is later when you finish your work. Alright, now on the left side, all these little buttons, these are your editing tools. Okay, so Miss Claire will go through the ones that we need today. For the other tools, you can explore on your own next time or later. Okay? So to start first, let's go to crop and rotate as part of adjusting. Okay, for crop and rotate, you need to think what you need to do. Okay, firstly, check. If your photo is not straight, you can play with the straightener. You can drag the slider to see how you want to straighten your photo. Okay, make sure the lines are straight. Alright, if you don't need to do this, you can just move the straighten back to zero. Okay. Once you're done straightening, you can check. Do you need to rotate your picture? If you need to, you can explore this. Rotate left, what happens? Rotate right, what happens? Okay, so you choose the effect that you want to do. Next, flip. Do you need to flip your picture, make a mirror effect? Flip horizontal or flip vertical? Okay, this is entirely up to you. You choose what you want or need to do. Okay, now next step. Let's do cropping. If you find that your photo has too much space or you want to remove a space, you can drag the corners inward or you can also drag the white rectangles at the side okay, to crop your picture. If you're happy with it, then you press apply. If not, cancel okay, and go back to the normal. Okay, so Miss Claire don't feel that I don't need to crop, I don't need to do any of this, then I'm going to skip this step. All right? So I'm going to move on to the next step, adjust and filter. Okay, for adjust and filter, it's quite interesting. This one, you need to see what your photo needs and you adjust accordingly. If you think your photo, ayo, the colors so dull, need to be brighter. Then you can click on color. You can play around with a different slider and see what happened. If you don't like the effect you chose, just click undo. Okay, you can also play with light. If you find that your photo brightness, okay, need to be improved, you can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness or you can explore all the other different tools what it will do, okay? 
If you feel very confused by all of this, you don't want to explore, that's fine. You can also click Auto Adjust, which is what Miss Claire is doing, for a quick edit. Okay, and then once you're done, click Apply. Okay, Pixlr might have some advertisements popping up, so don't worry, just close it. Okay, now moving on to the second step, Effects. Okay, click on Effect. You can choose the color filter that you want to add on. Okay, we are doing filtering now. So you can choose what effect you want. Uh, Miss is going to choose just a random one. All right. So when you click on a category, you will see that, oh, there are many different color effects. So you can choose something that you like. If you think that is too much, you can always play with the slider to decrease the value. Okay, let's say you're happy with it. Okay, once you're happy with it, you can click on apply. Okay, Miss is going to show you very quickly. Yeah? Okay, maybe I'm happy with this. If I don't want this, I can just close it and choose another effect. I'll go back and choose other ones. Alright, so let's say I'm happy with it. I click on apply. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to the next step, which is decorating. Okay, so to decorate, click on add element. You can choose whatever element you want to add. You want to add sticker, you can. You want to add shape, you can. You want to add border or overlay, you can. Miss Kat is going to show you what each of them is. Huh? Overlay is putting something over the picture. So you click this, you see first. Okay, there are many different effects. You want to add some lights, you can click this. You can click to add on your picture. So if you click like that, you will see it appear here. Don't want, then you just click close. Alright, go back and then you can try out different elements. Okay, please be careful. Ah. There are some elements okay, that have this yellow sticker. Do not click the yellow sticker. Yellow sticker means must pay money. Do not click. Okay, what Miss Kat is going to do is for my picture, I'm just going to add a very simple border. If you want, you can add other stuff or you can follow Miss Kat. Okay, so what I did was go to border. I click on rounded corner. Okay, then I choose a rounded corner effect that I like. I think what I chose was this one. Okay, once I'm happy with it, I just close it. Okay, and then I move on to my next editing, which is add text. So today we're going to make a photo card with an inspirational quote. So click add text. Okay, I click add new text. I'm going to change my text here. Miss Claire gave you three different examples. You can choose either be yourself, be happy. You can choose never give up. Or you can also choose friends stick together. Okay, so use the text that is best for your picture. Alright, Miss Claire is going to choose be yourself, be happy. Okay, so I'm going to type my text here. Okay, all your text will appear on the same line. If you want to shift the text to the next line, what you can do is to change the size of your text box by dragging the side. Or you move your cursor in front of the word you want to shift, press enter. Move the line down. Okay, finish your text. Choose a font or handwriting that you like. Okay, make sure you don't click the yellow sticker. Ah. Just click the ones without. Miss Guy is going to choose one that I like. Okay, there are many different forms. I'm going to choose this one because I like it. Okay, finish. You can choose a few color as well. What color you want for your text. Okay, up to you to choose, huh? but Miss Claire is going to use white, close to finish. Okay, you can also change the size of your text, make it bigger. Okay, as long as it, it fits nicely into any space in your picture. Okay, then you can choose whether you want to add a background to your box, change the color, or you don't want, you just off it. Okay, if your words cannot see, you can even add an outline, then you can see your words a bit better. Okay, if not, just off. Alright, now Miss Kai is going to shift my text to an empty space in my picture. So what you can do is just move your cursor to your text, drag and find an empty space to put it. Okay, Miss Kai is going to put here. So once I'm happy with the space, I can also reduce the size of the text box by dragging the side. I can even rotate my text, okay, and put it where I want to do it. Okay, so once... You are done. Once you're happy with your work, okay, you can click this close. Okay, if you find that, ah, yeah, I need to change my text again, just click your text layer. Click your text layer. You go to arrange 
and then you can continue to modify your text. Okay, if you're done, then you're going to click save. Okay, you need to change your name of your work to Miss your name dash photo card. Okay, don't copy Miss Kasni, I write your name. Huh? Okay, click on PNG. This is a picture format and then click download. Okay, when you download finish, you should see your photo file downloaded over here to your computer. Okay, then what you can do is you can close the Pixlr website. Okay, you go back to eCampus, you click on the take the quiz button, and then you need to follow the instructions to upload your work and do reflection. Okay, so it should look something like this. Okay, question one, Miss Claire need you to upload your work. So click choose a file. Okay, go back to your downloads folder in your computer. Click onto your photo card picture. Open. Okay, then you upload the card here. Finish. Okay, answer question two. How do you find today's activity? Is it difficult, challenging, fun? Okay, just type your answer here. All right, Ms. Kai is okay with any response. Okay, next one, question three. Ms. Kai want you to choose a theme for next week. You want to do people, nature, buildings, toys, colors or school life? Write the answer here. Okay, for example, if Ms. Kai like to do Lego picture, I click toys. Okay, if I want to do a, something to do with people, I change to people. Okay, once you're done, press submit. Okay, and then this is the end of your HBL for today. Okay, so have fun, enjoy. Any questions, don't know, just contact Miss Claire. Okay.